Okay, how to use an oscilloscope. An oscilloscope is just two voltmeters put together with a time base. So it's a voltmeter which has time along here and voltage up and down. Now, I'm going to show you how to measure the frequency of a um, of an alternating voltage. The alternating voltage is being changed by a signal generator. So I'll set the signal generator to about 9 kilohertz. So that should be 9 kilohertz. And you can see there's the trace there. We've got to work out what the period of that wave is. Now the way we change and the way we work it out is by looking at the setup of this. The first thing we've got to do is we've got to change the time base. So we've got about one wave video visible on here. So I can see about one wave and I've got the time base set to about 20 microseconds a centimetre. So we look on here and we alter the position of this so we've got one of these peaks starting on one line and then we can measure how far it goes. And then we pull this down so it's on the scale. And we can put it, start it there. Now we can measure how many centimetres across it is. So that's one, two, three, four, five, point two, point four, point six. So that's 5.6 centimetres. Each centimetre is 20 microseconds. So if we take the number of centimetres and we multiply it by the number of microseconds, we can get the period of one wave. Once we have the period, one divided by the period should give us a frequency. So that's how you work out the frequency. To work out the amplitude, we get this back up and we set this to ground. That makes it a straight line going across and we change that line until it's on the middle axis. We then put this on, move this across so we've got a peak, check the grounding and the peak and that's one, two, two point five centimeters. We then look at this, the volts per division. It's 0.2 volts per division. You can see the indentation there indicating which line it is. So it's 0.2 volts per division. Multiply that by the distance. The distance is 2.5 and we get the voltage going up. The main things that you change. Firstly, you make sure that these variation knobs are round all the way around to clockwise and they click. You change AC and ground. You make sure that you're looking at channel 1 here. You can change the position up and down. You can change the position side to side. The triggering, we're on channel 1 and it's auto. Um, and we change the time base, making sure that this is also all the way around. Otherwise you'll get the um, measurement incorrect. Work out the measurement and compare it to 9 kilohertz, which is what the signal generator says it's producing. I hope this video is useful. Bye-bye.